Hi, my name is Drake Dremus, director of Equals. This is a scene between uh, Nick Holt, who plays Silas, and Kristen Stewart, who plays Nia. Uh, this is sort of a, a boiling over point in the film where uh, this connection, this magnetism between the two of them is essentially uh, come to a head and uh, they can't control it anymore. Um, I love Nick's performance in this movie. Uh, we shot this at the basically at sunset you know we shot the movie in Japan and it was just the light there was just incredible so this is all natural light and I uh, just love the way it looks and the VFX and the way it just kind of all comes together but uh, Nick's performance is really beautiful and subtle here he, he doesn't know if he should go and follow her if it was a cue or not but then he kind of takes a chance and it's just kind of a very beautiful innocent cat and mouse game that's being played at this point in the film um, this music is a, is a really beautiful piece uh, as well. It's a Dustin O'Halloran track that he composed for us that um, really is intense and beautiful and it really kind of drives the scene and is a star in the scene. Now this is a bathroom that we built in Singapore. So the pr pre previous piece was in Japan and this is uh, a really beautiful set that we built um, in Singapore here. I love, uh, I love these cuts and, and the way this kind of just feels. It, it just feels like it, it, he might have been standing there for a very long time before he kind of takes a cue and sees her feet. And it's the way the light kind of works here too. It's, it just you know, progresses. The film starts out extremely monochromatic and very still and very structured and then kind of move into a very colorful sort of handheld kind of um, uh, world. Uh, this aquamarine is something we took very careful consideration with. We had this LED board and tried to figure out exactly the coloration that we wanted for this. But I'd seen a photo um, out of a magazine that kind of looked like that, actually, and had that kind of color. And I was like, ah, that's kind of what it should be. Um, this performance uh, from Kristen is really kind of amazing. I mean, she just, she, she, you know, there's so much subtext going on in the scene, and it's, it's so sensual. And I mean, essentially, this is kind of the first sex scene in the film. Um, spiritually speaking, of course, um, all these jump cut shots are really kind of taken from about a two hour block of footage that I had. Um, we would do 25, 30 minute takes of the scene and not stop and just run back to the beginning. And, you know, I, I have about two hours of footage of them, you know, this, this first touch and, and how it feels. And I mean, this is the first time really anybody's ever touched her. And it's just kind of amazing to watch her go through that process of, feeling so many different emotions, feeling um, uh, scared, feeling um, um, you know, excited, uh, feeling connected. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, she's doing so much. And Nick's hand here is uh, really beautiful. And yeah, this music really does drive the scene. Um, and then once we're in here, then it's kind of the floodgates have opened and there's no turning back. And um, the magic has sort of overwhelmed them. And I love the way this is cut. My editor, Jonathan Alberts, and I have been working together now in three movies, and, and you know, we probably worked on this scene the most. You know, we, we were tweaking the scene and trimming things and putting things back in pretty much all the way to the end. <laughs> 